60 years ago, I joined with other parents to form the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. 62 years ago, my daughter Annie was born with cystic fibrosis. My world was overwhelmed. I knew I had to do something. These 60 years in the foundation has been very challenging, but amazing things happened. In order to fulfill the foundation's mission, we needed to start by improving the quality of life for people with CF. To do this, we created a care center network so that people with CF could get the best treatment possible no matter where they lived. We also brought together top-notch scientists from different disciplines at major universities, establishing the research development program to help support collaboration and improve our understanding of cystic fibrosis. Thanks to the foundation, CF research took off. Thousands of volunteers in our community fueled our progress, taking fundraising to the next level with the creation of Great Strides, helping to spread the word about our mission, raise money, and most importantly, change lives. I had the privilege to be part of the international team that found the cystic fibrosis gene. We knew that it marked a great beginning in our quest to understand and treat CF at its most basic level. But we really didn't know where this discovery might lead us and just what it would take to get there. With the exciting discovery of the CF team, the Foundation expanded its funding to help develop new drugs to treat the illness. And a few years later, the first CF drug was approved. In 1997, the Therapeutics Development Program was created to bridge the gap between what was learned in the laboratory and the evolution of new therapies. With our support, a second inhaled antibiotic was approved to help fight germs that cause chronic lung infections for those with cystic fibrosis. The next year we launched the Therapeutics Development Network, now the largest clinical trials network in the world to help speed the delivery of new and better therapies to people with CF. In 2000, we began a collaboration with Aurora Biosciences, later Vertex, to find drugs that could target the underlying cause of CF and to treat multiple symptoms of the disease. To recruit new volunteers and harness the power of our people pipeline, the Volunteer Leadership Initiative was created by bringing together some of our top fundraisers in the communities from across the country. To keep pace with the increasing opportunity in CF research, it was really vital to step up fundraising and rally others to support the development of essential new therapies for CF. So we kicked off the Milestones to a Cure in 2005, the largest major gifts fundraising initiative in CF Foundation history. In 2006, we established the Congressional Cystic Fibrosis Caucus, one of the largest in Congress today to increase awareness of CF in the Capitol so that the healthcare needs of people with the disease are strongly represented in public policy decisions. In 2010, we fostered another win a new inhaled antibiotic for CF. The first in more than a decade was approved. In 2012, the first drug to treat the underlying cause of CF in a small group of people was approved. This was a breakthrough, not only for CF, but in the history of genetic medicine. This breakthrough drug has transformed the lives of a small segment of people with the disease. It's also given us a clear roadmap we're continuing to develop more life-saving therapies for all people with CF. To create new opportunities to engage, listen, and learn from the CF adult population, we established the CF Adult Advisory Council in 2014. Together, we are giving the growing adult population a chance to have a voice, help shape our future, and advance our mission. In 2015, we witnessed the approval of Orcambi, the second drug to treat the underlying cause of cystic fibrosis. Orcambi can treat nearly 50% of individuals with cystic fibrosis. Combining this with the people already benefiting from Kaleidico, it means that nearly 60% of patients now have a therapy which may eventually add decades to their lives. We will not rest till we find a cure. A cure. A cure. A cure. A cure. A cure. For all people with CF.